When reconstructing the roadway, one of the first items is to establish positive drainage. In the case of the Custer project, ditches needed to be widened to bring them into the current specifications. Aggregate base was then added to the roadway and placed with a GPS-enabled dozer. Once the aggregate base is placed, the motor grader shapes the roadway to its final dimension and proper slope. Part of the specification requires achieving a minimum density for the aggregate base. Water is added to bring the moisture content of the material up to optimum. The use of a vibratory roller helps bring the material into the target compaction range. The watering and rolling operation work in unison with the aggregate base shaping. The project required placement of two lifts of asphalt. Each lift of asphalt called for reaching a minimum density. This is accomplished through the use of multiple rollers. Tack is placed between the lifts of asphalt to create a bond, so the two layers operate and function as one. Once the tack has set, the second layer of asphalt, often called the surface lift, can be placed and rolled.